Thank you very much. Um, I wrote my question almost a week ago when I have to say I had a kernel of hope. I'm going to read my question anyway. Um, as a district and county councillor and as co-chair of the Cambridgeshire Health and Wellbeing Board, I'm extremely sad uh, by the scuppering of progress on making connections and the chance it offers sooner rather than later to bring better air quality in Cambridge and travel and access opportunities to young people for education and work, and indeed all those disadvantaged by lack of transport choices. Reducing health inequalities is the ambition of all Cambridgeshire councils working together with the NHS in our integrated care system. Transport and access are important levers in the wider determinants of health. With access, one has opportunity. Without it, the likelihood is worse outcomes in life. The last bus connecting Bassingbourne to Cambridge was withdrawn in 2017 due to congestion holdups in Trumpington. It was unable to deliver students to Long Road Sixth Form College on time. Those who could started driving, adding to the congestion and air pollution. Those who couldn't have had their education severely compromised. Kelly Whitley, a resident of Bassingbourne, recently asked the County Council what could be done to enable her two sons to reach their Cambridge Sixth Form, as well as their weekend and evening jobs. She has no car. She and her children also struggle to attend appointments at Adambrook's. Taxi fares are unaffordable. There has been no investment in safe cycle links out of the village to bus and rail stations. This is the granular detail in the creation of inequalities. These are the inequalities, lack of access to education, jobs, health services that determine life chances and differences in life expectancy. I welcome today's report on the potential of making connections for dealing directly with these inequalities, and I look forward to the health impacts paper uh, produced in collaboration with Cambridgeshire Public Health. I hope that a way will still be found of enabling this transformative project, which has been significantly revised to meet public concerns, to proceed first and foremost for our children and young people. And I would like to thank the officers and also the members of the GCP Board and Assembly for an enormous amount of work and careful consideration of everything that's come before them um, reaching this point of today. Thank you. Councillor van der Ven is correct that the uh, intention of making connections proposals was to address uh, the types of health and social equalities issues that she raised uh, and also to address the sort of experience uh, of bus uh, challenges that she raised. Uh, she'll be aware that the CPCA are currently considering bus reform proposals which would uh, see greater local government control over public transport with the potential to set routes, timetables and fares and other aspects of the service through either enhanced partnership or franchising which would prevent a situation of private companies being able to suddenly withdraw services in the future as we've seen in the last few years. Uh, she's also correct that the various impact assessments um, that supported the outline business case showed a range of uh, benefits, uh, both positive and negative, of the proposal and of the no STZ scenario, um, uh, which uh, set out for you in your papers. 